in our eyes tonight, there's a glow tonight. They're so bright, they can light hot and blue tonight. She's so gracious, so gracious. She's not a sweet thing. Bless her little heart. Click to the cord. Acting out her past with a reality, quality ball. She's such fun tonight. She's a treat tonight. You could spread her out red. When everyone you have ever loved is finally gone. When everything you have ever wanted is finally done with. When all of your nightmares are for a time obscured as by a shining brainless beacon or a blinding eclipse of the many terrible shapes of this world. When you are calm and joyful and finally entirely alone, then in a great new darkness, you will finally execute your special plan. One needs to have a plan, someone said, who was turned away into the shadows and who I had believed was sleeping or dead. Imagine, he said, all the flesh that is eaten, the teeth tearing into it, the tongue tasting its savour, and the hunger for that taste. Now take away that flesh, he said. Take away the teeth and the tongue, the taste and the hunger. Take away everything as it is. That was my plan, my own special plan for this world. I listened to these words and yet I did not wonder if this creature whom I had thought sleeping or dead would ever approach his vision, even in his deepest dreams or his most lasting death. Because I had heard of such plans, such visions, and I knew they did not see far enough. That what was demanded in the way of a plan needed to go beyond tongue and teeth and hunger and flesh, beyond the bones and the very dust of bones and the wind that would come to blow the dust away. And so I began to envision a darkness that was long before the dark of night and a strangely shining light that owed nothing to the light of day. <laughs> That day may seem like other days. Once more we feel the tiny-legged trepidations. Once more we are mangled by a great grinding fear. But that day will have no others after. No more worlds like this will follow. Because I have a plan. A very special plan. No more worlds like this. No more days like that. There are but four ways to die, a sardonic spirit might have said to me. There is dying that occurs relatively suddenly. There is dying that occurs relatively gradually. There is dying that occurs relatively painlessly. There is the death that is full of pain. 
Thus, by various means, they are combined, the sudden and the gradual, the painless and the painful, to yield but four ways to die, and there are no others. Even after the voice stopped speaking, I listened for it to speak again. After hours and days and years had passed, I listened for some further words. Yet all I heard were the faintest echoes reminding me, there are no others. There are no others. Was it then that I began to conceive for this world a special plan? There are no means for escaping this world. It penetrates even into your sleep and is in substance. You are caught in your own dreaming where there is no space and are held forever where there is no time. You can do nothing you are not told to do. There is no hope for escape from this dream that was never yours. The very words you speak are only its very words. And you talk like a traitor under its incessant torture. There is nowhere to go, there is nothing to be, and 
there is no one to know. Your plan is a mistake, he repeated. This world is a mistake, I replied. <laughs> The children always followed him when they saw him hopping by a funny walk.